Hi, I'm Deborah Parrott, Graduate Program Coordinator and Assistant Professor of School Library Media at East Tennessee State University. Have you ever dreamt of being a School Library Media Specialist? Do you like children's or teen literature? Do you enjoy sharing stories with children? If you're already an educator, are you looking for a fresh career path in education? If you answered yes to any of these questions, being a school librarian may be the perfect career choice for you. At ETSU, we offer two avenues to gain certification as a school library media specialist. First, the Master's of Education is for anyone who desires a master's degree, whether you're already in education or not. However, if you're not in education, you may gain initial licensure as a school library media specialist through this program. Second, the certification only option allows you to add the school library media endorsement to your existing graduate level license. Hello students, and I am Renee Lyons, the assistant professor in the school library media program. Welcome. Our program includes all age levels, genders, and folks with all sorts of degrees. We cater to both the busy adult learner and the traditional graduate student. It's fun to learn among people from different backgrounds and experiences because everyone has so many ideas to share. The best part of this program is that the coursework is all online and asynchronous. That means that you may complete your assignments any time, day or night. You're not required to attend online lectures at any specific time. The convenience of this program is perfect for busy professionals. Additionally, this program is a non-thesis program. That means the culminating assessment for the School Library and Media program is a portfolio which consists primarily of assignments that you've completed already in your courses. How long does the program take? Most students complete the program in one and a half years. However, the length of the program depends on how heavy a course load you take. If you have courses from a previous master's degree that will substitute, that may decrease your time. Most students complete the program in one and a half years. Some students enroll in six hours or two classes, and some students may choose to enroll in three classes or nine hours. More details about the coursework may be found on this website. Students are, of course, concerned about how much the tuition is and what the cost of the program is. The actual tuition may differ from student to student. For this reason, to find your tuition cost, I recommend you contact the bursar's website at the site contained on your screen here. How many hours are required for the program? It takes 36 hours to complete the master's degree. It takes 26 hours to complete the courses for an add-on endorsement. We get the question a lot of time, might I become certified in school library and media? I have an interest in it, but I don't have a teaching degree. The answer is yes. We've had students with very diverse backgrounds become certified in school library and media. We have had students with undergraduate degrees in everything from broadcasting to human services, even accounting to get a Master of Education and become certified in K-12 school library and media because it is a very eclectic profession. Are the classes all online or do I have to attend online lectures at a certain time? Good news, all of the classes are asynchronous and that means that you may complete your assignments at your convenience any time of the day or the night. You may even do your coursework in your pajamas if you wish. Many times we get the question, what is the job outlook for school library and media professionals? Well, there's a very positive answer because the job outlook for school librarians is excellent due to the high number of school librarians throughout Tennessee, throughout the nation really, who are at or approaching retirement age. Also, Virginia and North Carolina have reciprocity with the Tennessee license. Other states have grant reciprocity as well. You may check with the Department of Education for the state of your choice. Going back to school is a big decision. How do I know if I would like being a school librarian? First, if you're already in education and you feel that you need a change, this would be a refreshing path for you. There will be various classes in your day, not just one class. 
One attractive aspect of this job is that there is less emphasis on grading and student documentation and more emphasis on locating, sharing, and implementing curricular resources. If you're not in education, you might love this job if you enjoy sharing children's or young adult literature. You might like this job if you like helping students with technology. Now that doesn't mean that you have to be the computer expert at your school. That just simply means that a school librarian might help students locate resources for a research paper or assist students with the creation of a class slideshow. If you enjoy working with all of the teachers and students to achieve their curricular goals, the librarian is an integral part of the instructional team. If you enjoy telling stories to children, you might like this job. If you like enriching the educational experience of each and every child in the school of all ages, levels, and abilities, you might love this job. Many times we have students approach us and they say, well, I'm interested in the School Library and Media Program, but I live in another state. I don't want to pay out of state tuition. What financial assistance might be open to me? Well, ETSU provides in-state tuition to the North Carolina border state counties of Ash, Avery, Haywood, Madison, Mitchell, Watauga, and Yancey. Great news. Also to Virginia counties, Grayson, Lee, Scott, and Washington. For other counties or other states, the George L. Carter Scholarship is open to qualifying students. So that's another possibility. Look at this website that we have on your screen to find out more information. Many students ask, may I apply previous graduate credit or transfer any classes to this master's? The graduate school will allow you to substitute up to nine hours of graduate college credit, provided that the classes are similar in content. The graduate program coordinator will make the determination of comparable content based on transcripts, syllabi, and other relevant information. If you already possess a library science degree and only wish to obtain certification, we can probably create a specialized program of study for you. You're welcome to send your transcript to us to see. Many times students ask, what praxis tests are required for certification? All candidates for certification are required to take the Praxis 2 for School Library and Media, and that Praxis test number is 5311. Candidates who do not currently possess a teaching license and are looking to gain initial licensure in School Library and Media will also need to take the Praxis Principles of Learning and Teaching. On the screen, you will see the link to the Praxis information that you will take for your School Library and Media Praxis. Of course, we're going to help you through all of that uh, administration and also explain to you what might be on those tests as we go through the program. A very common question is what financial aid is available to me? Federal loans for master's as well as certificate programs are available through the Financial Aid Office. There are also graduate assistant positions and tuition scholarships as well. More information may be found at this website. The Clemmer College of Education offers this scholarship as well. The Tennessee Association of School Librarians, or TASSEL, also offers a scholarship located here. The American Association of School Librarians offer a scholarship here. The George Carter Scholarship is also available for out-of-state students. That website is located on this slide. Many times we're asked, well, what's involved with the practicum? What will I be doing? The practicum is not a student teaching placement. It's more of a service learning experience in which you complete school library related projects under the supervision of a certified school librarian. Don't worry if you teach or work full time because most of our students do. You may accumulate your practicum hours during such things as breaks, after school, before school, and possibly on some online assignments. Start your future as a school library media specialist today. Apply online at our graduate school website. I'll be happy to guide you through the application process. Just contact me if you need help. How much guidance do I get in an online class? I've never taken an online class. 
don't think that just because you're online that you're out there all alone. The professors are easily accessible and we care about your success. I frequently speak, Skype, and text with students about everything from how to register for classes to specific assignments or possible job opportunities. Many of our students make lasting friendships and professional relationships with their fellow classmates. Join us today. Students, yes, we definitely want to see you from time to time, face to face, and develop those social relationships that are so important. Uh, and so we do have office hours, or we can find other technological tools in which we can do it all, on, all online if you'd like, and if you have, if you'd like to talk to us face to face that way. Um, we provide social forum discussion boards on the course sites uh, in order that you can chat with each other about anything, uh, like my, I just got a new puppy yesterday or something like that, and better get to know your fellow classmates. Uh, you can share technological tool addresses on the board and chat with each other that way, uh, just face to face with a fellow classmate if you like. We're always there to boost the, the social aspects of the class and to provide a helpful hand. And as Deborah said, you are not alone. What technology will I be introduced to in the program? First, we hope to share many technological tools with you while you're in the program. Examples include resources which will allow you to interact with your professors and your classmates. Examples might be Skype and FaceTime. For assignments, you'll also learn more about LibGuides, VoiceThread, and blogging. Don't be intimidated by any such tool. There are many resources for you to get assistance with technology. That's the reason we're here is to learn, and your professors are always learning new tools to share with you as well. There's no stress associated with such learning, only fun.